1982 Cadillac engine job has arrived. The tow truck driver just got here. I'm not sure if it's going to run. It's got a rod knot. We're going to get it dropped off. And uh, we do have one in the shop right now. But uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a great video. So this is going to be a complete engine job. We've got a long block in the shop waiting for it. And uh, we had to order the part. It's been a long time coming because the engine was built out in Washington State. It's a 472 V8 cubic inch. Uh, I want to say they're about 365 horse maybe. 370, something like that. Um, but it's here. The caddy has arrived. And I know the customer missed it. Woodward Cruz and he's pretty sad about that but we're going to get him going we're going to take you through the video R&R uh, &R long block and uh, all that entails I think this is going to be a pretty cool video so um, yep we're just getting it unloaded now and we will go ahead and get this job underway we've got the 72 Cadillac like we uh, were talking about it's here for an engine job I have uh Scott with me today and Ronell, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, this thing is really rocking and rolling. You can see it's stock all except for this HEI ignition they put in. Um, but we're gonna see if we can start it and get it into the shop so that we can uh, go ahead and start replacing this engine. I've got some carburetor cleaner in case it needs it. I'll give it to Ronell. he'll give it a shot. Um, so open the choke and give it a little, give it a little down the throat there. We might need to get the jumper too. It started yesterday, but all right, Scott, let's see. What do we got? All right, it's going to go. So you need to give it a little throttle, maybe. Yeah, hold on. Give it a shot down the throat. Okay. All right, he's running. We're coming in. As you can see, we got it right definitely off there, off the crankshaft. We're gonna try and get it in on the hoist. This is a big girl right here. I'd say that's good right there. Yeah, see the hammer. All right. Oh my goodness, I can't hardly lift this hood by myself. I don't know if I'm getting older, the hoods are getting heavier. But you know, that's the cool thing about this car. When you look at it, I was showing uh, the guys earlier when it came here, everything on this car, that's metal, the grill, the inner fender wall. So look at this inner fender wall, it's metal. Um, and that's why these things weighed so much and you know this is back when plastic wasn't used everything was uh, steel and metal everything's made in America there are no foreign parts on here um, and it's just uh, it's gonna be real fun to do so we're gonna we have a complete uh, short block right here <clears throat> that we're gonna be installing this is a 472 cubic inch uh, v8 big block uh, I think it's about 365 or 370 horsepower but you know, just some cool features. Look at the skirts on this. So you don't see those anymore. The vinyl top needs to be replaced. You can see that it's, you know, but this is the original paint and the car is really not in that bad of shape. It does need a little bit of tender loving care, but all the original stuff is there. It's got AM FM radio, big, huge seats, leather. Um, you know, I had to laugh at the trunk, the size of the trunk. You can fit a full size spare in there and as the mafia guys say you could still probably get two or three bodies in there with no problem so but anyways we're going to get going on this and uh, scott's over to uh, give us a hand and uh, just to get the hood off is going to be the first chore so that's the first order of business we're going to get set up and try to get this hood off so so we're going to go ahead and we've uh, scribed some lines on the uh on the hood hinges and my way i always used to do this um, i just like to take a a ratchet and this is uh, the old school sockets all fractional so we gotta go back to our this side here oh yeah these are probably gonna be I'm gonna guess what do you think Scott nine half inch half or nine nine sixteenths he's gonna call it a nine and he would be right 
It is 9 sixteenths. So what I have to do is kind of just hold the back of it. You get it loose, all four first. And then when we're ready, you got yours loose and we're all holding it, one guy in the front. Um, we're gonna take the bolts out, set them down, and we'll have the hood. Okay, perfect. Is there? Look at that, three. This is not one of those sissy ones. This is a six. Okay, now it's starting to move. There we go. Good eye, good eye. So three nine sixteenths bolts to start the project. Good. Don't run it all the way out until the very end. Yeah, now look here. Look how I got it. Put my hand over. Yep. Now hold on to it because if it fall, when you take them bolts out, it's going to want to slide back. If it hits the windshield, it'll break it. Right. So now take your ratchet, run them out. <laughs> yep. Just set it down. Yep. Just like that. Yep. Okay, we got it. Now we're gonna just grab a hold of it. All right. Yep. We're going that way. You're taking the whole hood that way. Over to the wall. Yep. All right. <laughs> Probably would have helped if we'd have moved the stuff, right? All right, so we can kind of walk it in. I don't know if you can get in a little bit, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> and then if we can, yep, stand it up. I don't know if it's going to fit in there or not. Too big? <laughs> Too big, huh? Holy smokes. Anticipate that. Um, all right, so let's do this. I'll, Scott and I will lift it up. If you can pull that the drop cloth that way, we'll kind of lean it on the generator after we get it off this step. So here, if you come around this way, Scott, if you can, come over, yep, step over. And then I'm gonna grab this other side. You guys, we'll lift it up. If you pull that, pull that drop cloth. There we go. Now we'll walk this way. Yep. And then if you can kind of maybe Walk that side in a little bit. There you go. Maybe even a little more. Okay. That's all right. Okay. She's down. 